got this Kelvin clip or Kelvin clamp. And depending on how you buy them, it may have some wires here. In which case, you're going to have to reach down in there with a soldering iron and change the wires to do it right. The wires are supposed to go down through these holes. But invariably, you don't want these wires. You're going to want to use uh, different wires. Now, I've reached down there with a soldering iron and solder and managed to do that, but it's not easy. It's not neat. Now, these two pieces of plastic. They're not left and right, they're identical, as are the pieces of metal. And note that, well, can't really see it. What appear to be pins is not passing through that spring. So how, how can we take this apart? Well, first of all, let's take off the spring. Notice the spring has comes down here. It has an L on it bent. Okay, the other side, it does not. It's a little short. The short side of the spring is supposed to sit on that asbestos insulator or nylon insulator. While the long leg actually sits on the wire in this case. So if we grab a hold of that spring, and try to take it out, it's almost impossible to get the long side out. But if you can get a hold of the short side, by going in and lifting it up with a screwdriver, back. See the spring's beginning to appear here. There. What I did is I flipped it. I got a hold of it and I flipped it over the side. Do that again. Make sure it's on camera this time. There we go. So you flip it over the side. Then we'll do the same thing with uh, the other spring. Okay. So now we've got the spring moved out from the center. It's stuck in there. There we go. So now these things are floppy. They're still held together. We took the spring out. I'm going to use this little vise. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to begin to tighten it. And what happens is you can see, twist it around a little bit. What used to be projections here are now squeezed inside, allowing me to stick a little spacer when I use a screwdriver down in both sides and it just came apart Now at this point, you can just lift these pieces of metal out.
So you're left with two identical pieces of metal. You can solder whatever fitting you want on there, whatever wire you want. Got some asbestos or nylon uh, insulator. Conductor has a notch in it. That notch aligns, you position that notch so that these two little risers here fall inside the notch. And this end falls inside of this notch, this riser. I don't know what this one's for, forget about it. The three we're worried about is this one, the, uh, the surface right here has to be against this. And these two here are inside of this. So once you get your wire on, this wire is, is a continuous wire. In other words, the end of it, whatever you want to put on the end of it, it's already on the end of it. <laughs> Make sure you pass it through first. Then you solder it. Then you push, push this back. Position this so it, it's going to fall down in. See so over those notches? And then just push it down flat. If you've pushed the uh, metal, the notch in the metal bar, and these two are lined up like that, the front end will be take care of itself. Do the same thing to your other, either stick this through before or after you solder it. Make sure you plan ahead. Now we have to put these back together. So we see how they fit. You can actually just take them and push them. There we go. They're back together, they close correctly. Now don't do more than one of these. Don't tear one, more than one of these apart at a time. See how these matched pairs, the teeth line up. It wouldn't matter which piece of plastic you put which piece of metal in. But once they're paired together, this is a pair of jaws, so don't take one of these and pair, try to pair it with a different one. They're paired. Now all we have to do is put the spring back in. Steve. Yeah. Do you think if I shut this door, it wouldn't make? Oh, I can't shut it. There we go. Never mind. So we've got the little end and the big end in, and there we go.